we have perfectly good reason. We were babysitting baby Iris. She's not such a baby anymore. She's getting to be a big girl. She's running around the living room, man. She's tiring me out. Yeah. Yeah, she's growing up. So we got some shout-outs, and I'm still in a cast, so I'm still, like, typing, well, voice voice typing. Well, hopefully so. she's not dropping anything. Yeah, so. And when I traded in my phone, I didn't back up my notes, so if I missed anybody, I'm very, very sorry. Please just let me know. But I'm going to try and get everybody. Clown Creppy. Welcome to the neighborhood. Zach Gwynn. Welcome to the neighborhood. Paul W. Welcome to the neighborhood. Claire Louise Irvin, welcome to the neighborhood. Brenda Craig, welcome to the neighborhood. Samantha Furk, welcome to the neighborhood. Elite Journey, welcome to the neighborhood. Co D, welcome to the neighborhood. Samantha Nevitt, welcome to the neighborhood. Third Sanderson, welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, Lindsay Wagner, I know it's way late, but happy belated sixth year anniversary from November 7th. Rebecca Jane, shout out to you. Nikita Johnson, welcome to the neighborhood. And she said that when she's down watching our videos makes her smile. So glad to hear that. That means we're doing our jobs. Bodden Vlogs are back. Yes, we've missed you guys. Glad to have you back. Chanel Lenardis. Happy belated birthday from November 23rd. She is 23 years old. She is miss missing the nibbling with the neighbors. And until this comes off, um, there's not going to be any more nibbling with the neighbors. And it's going to be kind of tough doing nibbling with the neighbors because I really can't eat. So, and it's only me and him. I can eat. Want some yeah. turkey tacos? Yeah. I'll do some more turkey tacos. You know, so we're not quite sure what we're going to do with that segment yet um, until I'm ready to start actually eating again. But we're, we're discussing it. We may still use it, and I'm not sure quite yet how we're going to do it. But we'll let you know. Thoughts and prayers, guys. We need some thoughts and prayers. Katie Caroline's thoughts and prayers go out to her mother, well, to their entire family. They've had a very rough few months. Um, her mother is um, having surgery. Um, Katie Caroline's getting contact lenses. They've had two car accidents, had to get two new cars, and she's getting through, Katie Caroline's getting three teeth pulled. So their family right now has gone through some pretty rough, a, a little rough patch. So if we can keep them all in our thoughts and prayers, that would be great. Elena Gibson, her best friend's big sister, is going on three rounds of chemo, hoping for clear results. So if we can all keep her best friend's best, big sister in our thoughts and prayers, um, we would greatly appreciate that. And Elaine, if they um, wouldn't mind, maybe you can give us her name so we can keep her in our thoughts and prayers with by her name. Greg Myers um, went in for gallbladder surgery on Thursday, which today. is today. And he did leave a message that all went well. So Good. glad everything went well with you, Greg. Almost daily, Kelly has been going through some medical stuff with doctors. She's been having a rough patch. She's feeling okay today, but if we can still keep her in our thoughts and prayers, I would greatly appreciate that. 
Jessa J, if we can continue to keep her in our thoughts and prayers, um, the tests that they've done or the procedure that they did, she still does not know if it is going to be successful or not. So if we can keep her in our thoughts and prayers as well. One proud mama. Cat scan showed a huge improvement, confident a couple more treatments will get the bit that is left. Her doctors are confident of that. So, um, Haley is still shaky and in pain, and it's getting worse. Almost had a seizure at school. The entire family is in need of prayers more now than ever. Um, her cousin was supposed to be somewhere and didn't show up where she was supposed to be, so her cousin's twin sister, April's other cousin, went out looking for her sister and found her car over an embankment and there was some sort of accident and her sister had passed away during the accident. It's being investigated right now to find out what caused the accident, but uh, if, they can, if you can keep them all in your thoughts and prayers, um, I'm sure everybody would greatly appreciate that. Mikey, um, happy 24th birthday. His birthday was this past week, so happy 24th birthday to you. My question last week was, have you been told that you look like anybody famous? And I'm going to read Destiny Swan. I don't think I have ever been told I look like anyone famous, just that I look a lot like my mom. She passed away when I was six years old. Her birthday is on November 30th. So happy birthday to you, happy belated birthday to your um, mother. And I think that is probably one of the best compliments that a girl could get is that she, she looks like her mother. Terry Johnson. I don't look like anyone famous now. When I was young, some people thought I looked like Marie Osmond or Marlo Thomas. I think it was just because they had dark hair and brown eyes. So... Yeah, I know when I was younger, I was told I looked like um, Sissy Spacek when I was younger and thinner. And I don't see that now, but back then I did. Jerry Colburn. I don't know who I look like, but everyone thinks my brother looks like Justin Timberlake. I think uh, your brother's probably pretty popular then. Jack Salmon. Meow, Val and Kevin. People had said for years that I looked a lot like Don Rickles. Also have his bad mannerisms. Well, I'll say that fits me down to the letter. Uh, the, Abyss. the Abyss 92882. For all you WWE fans that we have out there, I have no idea who this is. Um, some people say he resembles De Dean Ambrose. The last one is Lord Gierno. And this was very funny. Um, I don't get told I look like anyone, but my youngest brother says I look like Diamond Mine Cart. So he looks like, his head looks like a, a head of diamonds. What about you, baby? Uh, when I was in high school, I had some people said I looked like Roddy McDowell. When I was in college, I was told I looked enough like Ringo Starr to... Um, to try out for Beatlemania. Remember them? Mm-hmm. And um, who, is the, who is the actor who was uh, in Fargo? Uh, the red-headed guy who was Oh, also, he was also in Jurassic Park. Yeah, don't remember his I name. I can't remember his name either. But I'm told I look like him as well. And um, as I said earlier, I, the only person I have ever been told I resembled was Sissy Spacek, and that was when I was... Um, younger and thinner, and, Carrie. and prettier, and, and angrier. And she apparently. gets angry. <laughs> Get away! Run before the doors all slam. <laughs> my my question for this week is: 
what are the top three items on your Christmas list this year? I'm okay. saying nothing right now. Okay. Keep going. All right. So, we have in favor of one, or excuse me, two to eight. In favor of... Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester. So, our dear butler man is going to remain Uncle, Uncle Fester. Fester. Not enough, not enough Z Nation watchers out there. <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, so last week I had a very simple question. That we, since we were trying to have a Thanksgiving themed question, it was Adam's Family Values, and the question is, what was Lurch playing on the harpsichord at the wedding? And it was Sunrise Sunset from um, Fiddler on the Roof. You know that song, right? Yep. Why is this little girl I carry? Right. Okay, and those who got that right was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, Abyss, 92882, and Greg Meyer. Woohoo! Now, luckily for me, there's a million horror films about Christmas. <laughs> million! <laughs> and so. so it begins. <laughs> and I'm going to start with the most recent one, Krumpus. It's not even out yet. It's got coming out on Friday, which is tomorrow. Who, who's Krumpus, and where did Krumpus come from? a real mythological character, similar to Santa Claus, or Sinterklaas. Saint Nick. Yes, dear, Saint Nick. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it, everybody. There's your answers for everything I think we asked this week. Your trivia question, your question of the week, and yada, yada, yada. So... Where's this little girl? <laughs> you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you. We love you all so very, very much. And make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. Stuff. And we... 